Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills, this is Logan Burgess. Today is the 31st, it's a Thursday. We had export sales out early this morning. Let's just see where we closed off the day here. Corn for December trading down four and a half cents. Wheat Chicago trading up three quarter of a cent for that same December contract. And new crop soybeans here trading up three quarter of a cent. Mostly on chains there for right. wheat and soybeans. What do we see in exports? Well, we finally got some interest for U.S. wheat here in that export sales report. 801,000 metric tons reported sold last week. Uh, big sales going to Nigeria, Panama, and Brazil. So that was good to see here for the wheat market. Those large export sales is really something that we uh, haven't seen over the last several weeks. Looking at corn, old crop sales missed expectations. We did see some pretty good sales, though, booked for the new crop here. Uh, but I think one area that caught a lot of traders' attention is what we saw on old crop beans, 187,000 metric tons uh, sold reported there, uh, and a very strong uh, 1.268 million tons reported uh, sold on the new crop as well. So good showing there for the soybean complex. Uh, as I said though, a lot of focus still on those old crop soybean sales. Absolutely, and when you take a look at the old crop soybean sales here, we have a model of where we are in terms of meeting USDA expectations. You'll see that old crop soybeans, we were able to move from 63 million bushels ahead of pace to meet USDA expectations up to 67 million bushels. That's a 4 uh, million bushel increase and you can yeah. see here it was a pretty strong week. Uh, you know the red line is kind of what we'd expect. It's the four year moving average for uh, sales during this time of the year and you, you can see we had uh, pretty good sales here so we, we were able to kind of turn higher. That's what uh, the green line here represents is the number of bushels were ahead of pace to meet USDA right. expectations. Yeah that's obviously a balance sheet item that's going to be looked at uh, for the old crop on August 12th from the USDA. Uh, still a lot of questions remaining about what the USDA is going to do uh, with the balance sheet. We saw uh, some very strange moves uh, in the July report, and this export sales number is something that's gotten a lot of attention. Going to need to be moved higher from, from everything that we're seeing here at the moment. Uh, corn, on the other hand, Cody, what's going on there? Yeah, well, we actually saw the, uh, the pace uh, needed to meet USDA expectations, uh, and what we saw, what we've been observing, uh, we've actually slipped here. We went from about 42 million bushels ahead of pace uh, down 4 million bushels to 38 million bushels ahead of pace. You can see uh, this week was very disappointing. This week's sales was about 40% less than last week. Yeah. So all in all, really a very old crop disappointing week mm -hmm. here for corn. Yeah, Cody, you know, if we take a look here at the technical action that we saw today, uh, looking at the changes on the day, not a lot to really talk about. But as you can see here from these two charts, the soybean pit had a lot of action in it today. Uh, the chart on the left is a five minute chart. So each bar is representing five minutes worth of trade action. The chart on the right here is a daily chart with each bar there uh, being one day worth of trade action. You can see here this bean market was kind of trending higher throughout the day, but toward the end of the close, uh, toward the end of the close, we saw a lot of sellers enter this market. As you can see though from the daily chart, end of the day relatively unchanged. You know, Cody, this is a market sold off substantially since that June 30th uh, acreage report, but here over the last couple of weeks, it looks like a market that's kind of struggling to find a bottom. What's what what is a, a day like this kind of tell you about about direction on this market? Well, first of all, it seems as though it, we have at least found a short-term yeah. bottom. You know, we are on the lower side of the range that we've been trading in for the last couple of weeks, so I think it's important to keep that in mind. When you look at the five minute chart, like what you were talking about here, of course, the last five minutes, we did see a lot of selling pressure enter the market. We didn't trade down a significant amount of points here, but we did see a lot of volume relative to what was traded throughout the day. Right. But when you when you take a step back, you look at that in terms of where we are in, in the daily chart, you'll see that we are kind of right near the lower side of the range here, and, and we might find support down around this kind of 1070 area. I would kind of expect here in the next couple days, uh, possibly to trade up and, and, and 